Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about um, uh, print on demand suppliers. And so this is going to be episode number six in our 365 day business challenge um, throwback update, whichever one you'd like to look at. Um, that we said we would try to do each day to bring um, some information and to keep us all on track with our businesses, you know, for the next 365 days and make sure we're kind of getting in there. We're doing the things that um, need to be done and that at the same time, we are making sure our, be our businesses improve over time based on our efforts and they definitely will. And so for the print on demand suppliers, for those of you who may not know what that basically is, let's say you have a design that you just really like and you want to put it on a t-shirt or maybe you've got this great idea for um, a mug, coffee mug, or um, maybe you have decided that you want to put some of your drawings that you have done um, on some t-shirts and try it on you know, different avenues of um materials you can do like clothing you can do a bunch of little things with it and you know, can do artwork and so these are the programs that you know I have actually utilized not well let me rephrase that not utilize all of them there are some of them that so far I have really enjoyed using however what I want to do is I want to branch out and actually utilize some of the other ones and the reason that I want to do that is because you know some products offer you um, maybe great sublima sublimation graphics and maybe others do not and so that's a big factor in the things that um, I enjoy doing and also while you're building your business you don't want to get caught up into a program that you really don't understand that would probably take you a lot of time and frustration to learn while you're still trying to you know do your products get your products um advertise get your products sold and do all of the things and manage um your day-to-day -day business so the ones i have chosen they've been pretty simple and pretty easy to use i would recommend that you know for those of you who have your artwork and everything are ready to go because you know this is just something that you do all the time this is probably like the most wonderful thing for you because a lot of this you already have it you know you have it in your folders wherever you keep your artwork and so basically you're able to you know draw on that and upload it now the last couple of days we talked about canva um a, and canva is the one that you can use to do your business cards <clears throat> you can use utilize it for presentations videos it has just so many wonderful different things for your business that you can do fairly quickly and um, possibly not have to outsource at least that part of your business because sometimes you know I do end up having to outsource because it's just way um, it's a lot when you especially when you're talking about inventory but that's stuff that we'll get into later on down the line and so you've been introduced um, to Canva and so you guys kind of know how that works we talked about the screen pal where you can actually um, you're talking along with um, whatever product or ideal webinar seminar informational project that you are doing and so these sublimation programs are basically something that you know it's another thing to add because if you have these drawings and things that you would like to actually maybe enhance before you actually put them out to the public what I did today I actually put some of my stuff um, I have a lot of my stuff on Canva because I use Canva a lot but I had some particular things that I wanted to try to utilize um, that Canva has because they've got a lot of new programs that they are actually um, making and creating so I find that to be you know that's very helpful for those of us who have to continuously um, you want to improve you want to move with the times we talked about AI before um, IT and just being more technical um, techn technologically more stable so that you can do some of these things and not have a fear of um, you're going to mess something up because basically you probably won't it'll just take some time and once you start to realize that um, there's nothing to be afraid of you'll be doing it more and more I pretty much promise you that and so I love the sublimation programs and the reason I like those is because I like that they give an, a whole overall 
um, effect to whatever you are trying to produce. So let's say, for instance, I want my design that I've designed like 10 years ago and I want to finally put it on this T-shirt or whatever other type of clothing, sweatshirt. And so now you've got it uploaded. You've done all of your graphics. Now you want one of these programs that you're able to actually um, put that design on into their program. And once you put it into their program, then um, based on how you want to proceed, you will be um, they will be able to produce that artwork on that T-shirt for you to be able to sell that T-shirt, you know, in bulk or however you want to do it. Maybe you want just a few because you've got some type of um, fundraiser or something that's coming up. And, you know, it'd be nice to kind of raise some money for the fundraiser because you're doing um, T-shirts. And so you can do a lot of different things. You can get kids involved and it can be like a lot of fun, especially with just random art that it might be junk to someone, but it's precious to someone else. So I always say, try to give things a try. Don't feel like, oh, I can't do this and no one's going to like it. Really, in all actuality, they're probably not going to know a whole lot about it any more than you do. So just continue to always know that, you know, try to make sure that you are doing things that make you more knowledgeable, regardless of what um, may happen, because there are going to be some times where you're going to fail. That's just how it happens. And so I love the sublimation when they can put the whole um, design on whatever piece of clothing that I'm working with. I've been doing t-shirts, um, but you know, my biggest thing is um, just really focusing on like what I want to do in my business. And so one of the things that we have decided that we're do moving forward with is doing um, our hats. And so I'm hoping that the program can help us out with that. Um, well, Canva and also whatever program we actually decide to utilize for the hats because we want to make sure that the whole design that we're doing that we will be able to get that um, on that particular hat and if we were to actually and you know and this is going to be one of those things where it's going to be um, a trial basis because if we cannot um, if we can't do that then we're back to you know doing it because all of the hats I mean I've created most of them already so they're one-time creation now we want to send it into production to be able to actually have enough product to actually sell um, to our customers so that's what we're working on right now because if we have to outsource it it would be basically um, you know who will be able to um, take on that project that we trust to be able to get our design all the way across to see what you know get our vision completed the way we envision for it to be done and so that's what we will, um, you know, we're going to continue to work on that and make sure that we're able to do that. So in the meantime, while we're waiting on um, seeing if that's a possibility, because we go ahead whenever I'm going to outsource or I think I'm going to outsource, I just go ahead and just send a, a message out because it's better just to do it that way. So that instead of you finding out you're not able to do something, always have a backup plan is what it boils out down to if we cannot get this program to do it the way that we want it to actually be completed and we don't have the staff to do it on hand um, for multitudes of product then we're going to outsource that and so we already have that the individuals in mind where we would go for doing that i've told you guys before about using programs like upstart using programs like fiverr where they actually have entrepreneurs that are actually there doing what they have an expertise in and you build a relationship with them and you, you know, go from there. And so that is what we're going to be doing with the t-shirts. And so uh, for this episode six, we are talking about um, printing on demand. And I thought that it would be an appropriate um, six for us because we're talking about the screen play p screen pal for talking and describing um, a particular product that you are making. We've talked about Canva and kind of um, doing all of the d different types of designs for your flyers, for your events, for your presentations, creating, you know, websites that are professional so that you can post them on Facebook, um, social media, talking about programs such as Deliverit that, you know, if you've got 25 social networks, no one really has the time. They're going to be able to each and every single day submit to all of them. You don't want to submit too much, but you do want to be making progress. And if you're making progress, you want to get the information out to your um, consumers or the people that follow you 
so they will come back to see oh you know she's pretty or he's pretty good at like you know getting something out like every couple of days or so and so they know that they're going to come back every couple of days to um, see what you have available and so this is a very short um, number six for us but we're going to continue just continue to build on with the things that we are working on and what I was telling you guys before when I started at the beginning is that we will be making sure that we are, you know, we're going to be um, talking and discussing things that we're doing right here in the now. So when I'm talking to you about Screen Pal, I just did that. If I'm talking to you about putting something on YouTube, I just did that. If I'm talking about a different design that I'm creating or whatever, that's what I'm working on. So I'm trying to stay very true to how I want the program to run. And I want it to run with us actually doing what we would be doing for our business and try to make it go forward and to be more um, profitable for us. And we've done, you know, we've done well on Facebook. We've done well, you know, on some of the um, other selling um, channels. And this is just kind of going to be different for us because we're producing most of our own products. So it's our own brand. So it's the Rich and Rich Home Opportunities brand now. And so it's a little bit different because, you know, we have to make sure that we are putting forth um, our best foot when we're doing things and we you know we make mistakes so we're not going to even you know say that we don't because we do but what we won't do is we won't give up and we won't um, stop trying just because you know there's been a failure we're going to continue to try and continue to improve and I'm just grateful for all of my followers that you guys have been following me for so long and let's see what 365 days brings us because I can't see anything but opportunity and growth all right I'll talk to you guys again episode seven